right, everyone, welcome into a Squad Ops One Life event. Today we have Operation Cloudfire. Cloudfire is a defense mission for US. It's kind of this weird attack defend thing. It's all over Gordok. And as you can see, Gordok is uh, rather foggy. Apologies for the mic issues. Why is that so, what the, oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. You know, if I just uh, turn the gain down, everything, all, all of my problems are solved. If I turn the gain knob all the way to the left, where, where nothing is supposed to come. Brilliant. We're, we'll just, we're just gonna go with that. Oh my gosh, guys. You know, sometimes I don't understand. Anyway, Operation Cloudfire, we're gonna go through what we know. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna have to go into the game because the map for this operation is not updated. And so, here's what we got going on. We're on Gordok and uh, US forces are defending a uh, FOB. We're gonna know, Russians are gonna know where it is. Russians are gonna move out to destroy that FOB and place their own. The idea is that Russia have a couple of options as far as their platoon type. US are defending. So pretty straightforward. The, uh, this map, this used to be run on Yerifka and uh, we're running on Gordok today with a few changes. Russia will have the option of picking a mechanized uh, battalion or infantry battalion or uh, company. I don't know, what's the size we're working with here? Four squads and a company? Makes sense. Uh, they got a mechanized option and an infantry option. Mechanized option, uh, just reading this from the op doc. It may or may not be correct. I swear this stuff gets updated like daily. Uh, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one lat, one medic per squad for the mech option. Um, they also get four MTLBs. Uh, not the heavy duty kind, the SBT kind, which means basically coax cannons, uh, a coax guns on top, uh, and the trans truck. They got a trans truck. Uh, infantry option, they get one SL, two FTL, two AR, two LATs per squad, one ammo bearer, one medic. That's plus one ammo bearer, plus one LAT per squad. No uh, armored vehicles or extra trans truck. They only get three transport trucks, and that's only for setup. So they will be on foot for the entire operation if they choose infantry. U.S., on the other hand, are defending with uh, one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one medic per squad. They have seven lats for the entire platoon. Four engineers as well. A uh, transport truck and a logi and three logi trucks. So they'll have 6,000 build and 3,000 ammo. Uh, because that's how the logi trucks are supposed to be uh, done. One second. Am I watching the right place? Yeah, I am. And um, they got a transport truck. Uh, their FOB, the defenses for the FOB, they're going to have tows, two tows, four HMGs, an ammo crate, and fortifications. That's a lot of stuff. But will they be able to build everything? Probably. We're going to go ahead and listen in here on the Russian briefing for round one. It's a metaphor Give me a for life. Alright guys, listen up. So basically, right, we go. welcome to uh, tonight's Operation Cloudfire. Uh, the evil militia who are trying to undermine us have our setup down where the red hat markers are Echo 9, Foxtrot 9, Foxtrot 10, and Echo 10. Uh, we're going to have Dwarf Squad use the infantry asset. He's going to be flanking from the southeast coming up from him. Everyone else, we're going to do a wave and we're going to try to push in with the, our mechanized forces. Uh, 
We're going to spend down far in the south. We're going to have uh, Killer and Rosa in the center. And then we're going to have uh, Hovis on the other flank. We're going to close in like a net. Pretty simple, straightforward. Any questions before we get started? Uh, what's the ROE? What do you mean? When do we shoot? Oh, you mean rules of engagement? You mean, oh, yeah, rules of engagement. Uh, if you're in squad <laughs> two, guys, come, come on. All right. uh, if you're in door squad, try to stay uh, weapons tight. I want you to try to sneak in there. Uh, any other, other squads, you can gauge on site, kill on site. We're going to be closing on net, crashing in on them hard. Copy, thanks. Other questions? Are we right, going to break them out, get ready for live? Let's see here. Uh, we're live. Never mind. I was going to retweet the, uh, the we're live thing. Maybe I can do that real quick. No one will notice. moving out here we got dwarf is going to be trying to be infiltrating they're trying to get as close as they possibly can before they break cover russia know where the uh the holdouts are there is a lot of fog here so we're gonna be in this view a lot guys It is what it is. I can't really do anything about that. The uh, the map is intentionally foggy. It's intentionally dense. Not a potato. I know that feeling too. When my computer died, <laughs> and then uh, and then I know that feeling when I literally had to uh, give up because of work. You start playing in order being an up. I mean, what you really need is basic. You need SOTG basic before you can play in an operation like this. It's our little short indoctrination course allows you to set up for, uh, allows you to get to know what we expect and, uh, allows you to, you know, I love the jazz. Ooh, no, please no. Oh, okay. We might have to stop here. See. All right, we're gonna have to hold up here. We had a, this is a one life event, but you know, the server has to not choke when like six things are placed on the map in order for it to actually work. I think actually it could be the problem of the vehicles. Not entirely sure. Uh, but we are holding right now. Doesn't help your PC is boxed up and six dates away. Yikes. Well, I'm going to say it's classic OWI. Although server health is hovering just below 20 ticks per second. So, Part four, did you lose anyone? A little column A, a little column B. But, you know, it's. There's a reason why we haven't been playing modded operations for the past few weeks, guys. Yeah, I did off one person I... before the last DC, though. All I'm saying about if that. that was right or not driver it's pretty funny yeah a lot of people yeah. dc so we're just giving them just the ride down so they can come back in we're gonna see uh we're gonna get some people back in the server everyone's reconnecting uh scope squad three put a rally down for dwarfs so you can come back in 
And uh, very shortly. ETA back. five seconds. It should be fine. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, at least people will have a chance to come back in. You know? Command, this is one. All of our guys are back in. Ready to move out. Understood. Written on the other squads. I don't know when your squad has all of its people back. Squad four is back up. $100 Monopoly money that Militia wins. Uh, I'll take that money. I'll take that bet. I'll bet you I'll bet you $100 that Militia wins. Or actually, I'll bet you $100 Militia loses, or actually doesn't win. I bet, I bet you $100 Militia doesn't win. And I will take that money immediately because we're not using Militia. Leaving it just in case it happens again. What's going on, Wolfgang? I have all my people back. V2 should be close, hope for the next time. You'd think, Exo Skelly. You'd think. I've heard that uh, V2 is like three weeks out. You know? I've heard... Every time I, every time I look into scene when V2 comes out, it's like three weeks away. Three more weeks. Wolfgang, are you flying a helicopter tonight? Dad, go on it. We do have other things on our calendar. We're still in a little hold position. Waiting for the server to come back to live position. Hey, Frappy. Uh, check the calendar. We have an operation tonight. Harvest Red. Oh my god. So it's on Scorpo. Oh man. Yep, and it looks like we've got two helicopter pilots tonight. And we're back live. So everyone's moving again. Uh, four times MTLB in a transport truck. Dorfus got his guys heading way out, way out to the. Uh, they're going to use the bridge, I think, over here, and try to get in behind. If not this bridge, probably this bridge. Then, unless they just YOLO across the water, because I don't think they're allowed to do that. one is one is correct amount of fog I don't understand oh is it down here oh, oh no so right uh, the the lower you are on the map the the more dense the fog is here and as everyone gets further closer towards the uh, the sea level as it were the fog has increased substantially. MTLB still moving out here, but we are close to within. <laughs> I guess the closest element, Squad One, is close to within about say 900 meters. Still a ways off, so I imagine we're gonna do the standard dismount and uh, mobile gun platform. Which makes sense because the MTLB it probably I think the MTLB gun can zoom. Which means it's kind of the only thing that can shoot people at range right now. 
Of course, U.S. do have two toes, potentially, although I only oh, see yes. one built. They've sapped all of their build. They have two HMGs and a tow launcher. Oh, there are three HMGs. Okay, where, where do I go? Where do I go? One, two, three, plus a uh, uh, tow launcher in the back. I take a right. We're going to take a look at the U.S. base while uh, Russia decides to move around and stuff. We're going to start in the southwest. We got uh, maps. We got people showing up on the map now. Ooh, look at that. U.S. playing crazy. They got a squad off the point. Actually, they can't be off the point because of the rules, but they are technically within their bounds. Squad four is in position. We got Tedish squad leading here. Looking for a nice vantage point here. Uh, we're going to take a look at the FOB area proper. We got an emplacement. Which we've modded the ACOG off of. Thank goodness. Pretty sure there's HMG anyway. And a sandbag line. Da -da 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 -da. And actually on the radio itself, it is rather built up. Looking at uh, multiple trucks used as walls. And uh, quite a bit of sandbags and uh, razor wire here. There's another HMG bunker. Facing the other direction. Oh, so there's two bunkers here. So they have used all four of their HMG slots. I don't think they have a second tow up. And this is the fourth HMG. And it'd be really cool if they had a tow over in this position, considering how high it is. Uh, well, I say that, but I, I guess if you're going to deploy the toes on the north and south here, you kind of want them like pointing at each other to cover each other. Although this position is interesting. It's been, a, I would say it's been abandoned, but uh, there's really no one here. I mean, I guess they built it and they're just sort of like defending it. I guess this is like squad three's defense in depth option here. They'll have someone run over to the to the thing immediately. To the tow launcher immediately. Yeah, repeat last please. Uh meanwhile we can see the Russian uh, attack take shape. Four squads north and west. Close to within six hundred meters now. Squad one and squad five. And we have uh, two squads up north, a little bit further away. Is that a mark that just deleted? Man, I hope that was what that was. Uh, and we have Dorf here and his uh, infiltrator squad. It's going to be um, potentially very, very messed up. Let's take a look at these squad, this squad three position down here real quick. All events are in your time zone. So anything that appears on the website appears in your current time zone, whatever your computer set to. Um, where am I? I'm not even south. Can I like use the compass correctly, please? Master and Rich, that's a backup position. We got the D and Fluffs and Guffs. The D might have eyes on, but it might be a little bit too late. They'll definitely be effective by the time uh, Dorf get there. Dorf and his squad get there. This position right here, not spoiled by sandbags. They'd have to have eagle eyes or the ability to see that some pixelation is happening that wasn't there before. Numbskull and Fizco. They might have eyes on this movement first, and they've got a pretty decent view. However, anything to the direct south is not visible. Of course, Dorf's approaching from pretty much their east. 
They are allowed to cross the water here. They can't do it in their vehicle, though. And we've got Dwarf's Element here setting up on a perch, trying to get some eyes to see if they can see anything, which they can't. And uh, Dwarf has ordered his guys to move out. And we have some movement here because squad five has just run straight in and they don't i don't even know if they know how close they are because squad three has been called back for ray us forces you squad five's close within 100 meters of contact the other side of the field here Woo boy uh rosa's got herself in an interesting position we got rockets coming out they hit the mtlb and uh Shots being returned here. I think there's a problem with this approach. I mean. MTLB got a kill though. Canine's dead? No, that's Lego. Big yikes. Bartok got himself a kill. Got himself a hit with the MTLB though, uh, or the uh, with his flat though. And uh, Kimchi has crawled through to try to heal Digit before they try to get out of here. And uh, meanwhile, what is this name? What is this name? I'm not saying that name. I'm not saying that name. Whatever. He got shot in the middle of the field like a dummy because he's standing up. Rose has also been hit. MTLB providing light suppression. On the last position where I th where I think they think they got shot from. Bartok is chilling here, looking for another chance to get another score another hit on this MTLB. He's got AT4 out. Yeah. Shot out. And that's a miss. A little bit to the left, and that's all you can see at a distance here. MTLB is backing off. Rosa trying to pass on as much information as she can because, of course, she's in a pretty bad spot. All she can do is pass on information here. She's going to have to skirt around north and try to make an end run through the, around the field. Um, I am no longer seeing... Oh, no, nope, yeah, there's contact with the ridge left there. They're crawling around up there. I'm just got them suppressed with the... Uh... Pretty sure Rosa's talking about bar talk and beware there. And maybe she even got eyes on... She must have eyes on the razor wire. I can't even tell. Uh, squad 4 are moving around the north side here. They're going northeast. Dwarf's guys are moving in. And Spend is also getting in this fight here. Pretty standard defense of a, uh, defense of a fixed position here. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not happening. Like this oh, URL looks correct. Oh yeah, that's the correct document. Welcome, welcome to uh, Opdocs. That is definitely the correct document. Just ignore anything that says militia and replace it with US. And don't scroll past halfway through the document because it won't make any sense to you. <laughs> uh. We're organized. We know what we're doing, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, I've got I guess Rose is trying to push through the field here. That we're gonna try and outflank. They're gotten. They're getting really close now. They're building to building. They're clearing the building. To building. Uh, pretty sure Adunka was up here too, but Scottish has uh, been hit. Uh, I'm coming towards the loop. Any chance they'll just shoot yep. through the uh, ceiling? Nope, because Scottish wants to die. Ah. He tried to get... Oh, yeah, nope. He does get a kill. But Scottish will eat a bullet for it. And here comes Rosa. He's in confusion. 
And pretty sure. Target down. Yep, looks like we got a pre fire going on. She gets a kill. Meanwhile, multiple deaths in the south as Sven tries to run and he gets cut down. Multiple friendlies dead. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like half of his move, uh, maneuvering element got shot up there. This is a one life event call, and I believe Dorf is now coming to contact as well. Multiple smokes. This is the squad. They were in a great position, and then they fell back. So, big shrug. They are making the most of this uh, element, though. Oh, hey, Rich is on the uh, tow. Looking for targets. Right, He's actually turned me. towards... How absolutely brutal would it be if... If, uh... Rich just threw a tow straight in the door. <laughs> that would be bad. Another rocket, and it looks like another MTLB hit scored by U.S. forces. That's like twice. That looks like a side armor hit, and it's still chugging along. And it looks all right. K9 is still alive here on the hillside. He's about to be overrun. Uh oh. Seemed like it was gonna be bad. That was a tow missile launch. That tow was way off the distance and not anywhere close. K9 is stuck here. Here's the rock. Here's this. AK going off, but uh, once he gets... Oh, a grenade. What a throw. Uh, too far. Oh, it actually gets a hit on Janitor and Kimchi. But uh, he threw it too far. Lots of stuff popping off here. As in the south, Sven and his Romanian element have linked up with Dorf. Just about. And they have a squad size element in front of them. And Dorf is running too. Running straight at Numbskull here. They're on the other side of the fi this hill. Plenty of cover to move up to, but uh, grenades coming out. Grenade from Dorf nails Hanu. More frags coming off of Russia. Interesting. Six folk one wants uh, Rose's element out of there and to completely reinsert another direction. They change any rules. Yeah, this is definitely one life. Check our calendar, squabs.gg slash calendar for the next basic course. Also, you need to be 18. Can't stress that enough. Uh, meanwhile, K9 finally got him a kill. And Sharpie doesn't know, he's right in front of him. I think Dorf's dead. No, Dorf's not dead. Uh... See, we're rolling back and forth here. Man, if I could just go southeast, that'd be swell game. U.S. forces and Russian forces just over each other's hill here. What is that emote? Oh my gosh. Okay. Thrasher almost gets lit up there by uh, Dorf on the. Ooh, what a throw! A little bit far. 
Man, if that was any shorter, that would have been doing some serious damage. Of course, fire team's pretty clumped up there. Chicken has to crawl up. Here comes more smokes. That'll let Dwarf's fire team advance. 16 kills to 14 is pretty even. Hard to say who has the advantage right now, but it's probably the defenders. Although multiple fronts is not good for uh, defenders right now. So they're going to try, looks like Rose's element's going to try to swing all the way around. Matter of fact, they're even getting MTLB support. Hovis's element, Hovis's squad still hanging around up here. That didn't feel good. Hovis down to four, looks like it. They're going to join for a general southeast reattack here. They're going to join the southeast attack, rather. Ooh, look at this position up on the hill. What's that north over there? Man, switch it to semi-auto. Stop semi-firing in full auto. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Then have your push through the smoke. Take the focus off. Rosa pushing in. Gonna push into the uh, HMG position. This is where Sven initially tried to push into. Uh, here we go. Tennis is already dead. Hero Stiglitz is stuck. Getting pinged. Hero Stiglitz is dead. It's because they didn't, they weren't uh, looking in the right direction. Or they didn't see like six bodies come up over the horizon. By the way, it's not good. Ooh. For some reason, I am... Do you have less fog in the stream? Uh... I have a method. I have a theory and a method. But I can't tell you what that is. Not until we get underway for round two. forces now attacking on multiple fronts three northeast or sorry uh, northwest southwest southeast and western sides making progress as I lag again cool times ooh a uh, hat goes in the hat the... wait they move the toe I wonder if they're moving. The, they can't move the toe. They have them mobile. Until beat gets hit. Uh, you can't move if you're tracked. Uh, do they realize they're tracked? Well, they do now. Take a look at this defensive position here. U.S. have plenty of ways to move around, except for probably not so much anymore. I don't know who got that kill, but it's pretty good. U.S. defensive quarter is uh, getting pushed on all sides now. Dorf has this guy set up. Actually, Dorf is dead. I didn't say that. It's just chaos. U.S. still neck and neck here. They have two strong points. They got the North Hill as sort of an overwatch position. It is covered by a lot of trees. And then they have the actual position itself. Which... Seems pretty strong. You can see US have a lot of forces not even defending the point directly. But it's still about a squad size fourth force uh northeast and on the point. I guess bullseye. We'll call it bullseye. 
Lima Bean still on this MTLB. Dixfall commanding in the field. It's gotten pretty close now. MTLB just looking for reasons to pop fools when they stick their heads up, up over the sandbag. What's going on, guys? Right, I'm reloading, I'm on the front. Fox. They have two HMGs. Of course, HMG emplacements, you can't, uh, you can just ignore them if you maneuver around them. All right, we got a tie-dye dude is in an HMG and he's just been shot out of it. And it's a good thing he got out of the thing immediately because he might've bled out if he stayed in there for too much longer. Because look, Russian forces are uh, holding the opposite hillside as I get freaking ping-ponged around by spectator cameras. And it looks like the push is stalled. Might be seeing U.S. forces pull out and go around. Looks like tie dude gets back into the uh, HMG. Here comes the MTLB. Maybe a little bit more, a little more armor might be able to withstand against that out. HMG. How's your depression, man? Oh, he's got plenty of depression. Look at that. He's so sad. What is he shooting at? They don't fight for them. Ammo's down. Anyone need it? It looks like he's shooting the ground. U.S. forces holding on for dear life. Right now, have the lead. 31 kills to 29 have taken the lead back from the Russians. The Russians now uh, operating a man disadvantage against a defensive a uh, static defensive position. Tyler do gets shot out of the HMG though. Big sad. HMG emplacements are almost effective until they're not. And uh, the thing is, US still have this massive squad up on top of the hill in an overwatch position. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad for Russia. But they're just. The thing is, there's not a lot of people actually inside the point. There's only six, seven, uh, U.S. inside the, uh, this little compound down here. Everybody's shooting. Matter of fact, even there's another MTLB out here trying to pinpoint, like, trying to snipe positions, uh, inside the... It's gonna be dicey if uh, U.S. run in here and these guys aren't told, but I'm pretty sure they'll know what's going on. Might be seeing a general attack here from the south. Command with some other people. Oh my gosh! Look at these these guys in the hillside are just com completely getting schwacked. There goes command down in the south as he tries to run up the trench line and. Uh, Everyone else got killed too. There were like three people around here, and the number goes up and it goes back down. And that's it. It's just the uh, it's just a fire team here. And oh look, this is Balti, the guy in the MTLB. They're going straight in. There's no uh, AT question mark. All the smoke is getting thrown in. They're gonna go up the hill. They're bypassing all the defenses. Yeah, all right. Do these guys have AT? They could be heroes. They could be heroes. 
Smoke being we, added, but it's still going to be kind of... It's still a pretty gonna, easy guess to figure out where the MTLB is. The smoke right, has dissipated. Bunch of sandbags and shit. So like, what? I don't know there. if they know these guys are up in the... They must know yeah. these guys are up in the hill. I see no right MTLB is stationary with a squad of... Why? Hey, does what? anyone have ammo on US? What? Are there any lats up for US? There aren't. They have to rely on the HMG. The HMG is a nice shot. Side armor shit. Side armor hits in. Blackbeard is just throwing bullets, bullets into here. Can't get into them. There goes the MTLB. It's gone. The whole squad is dead. And it's just Lyle being a Revy now. Oh my god, they can't run over the sandbags. Not destructible in squad, guys. Kills, dude. Actually crazy. What? This, this, this is another one dead. The most and Blackbeard gets so shot out of the emplacement by Lima Bean. So as uh, Revy and Lima Bean with, uh, looks like uh, Paladin is... Uh, He's dead. Now in the other position. And Lima Bean's just racking up kills. Yeah, 19 yeah. kills? Lion being responsible yeah. for uh, half of this entire mission, by the way. And if you never see uh, vehicles and ops again, this is going to be why. I can't believe we lost the an MTLB full of yeah. guys. If, if they drove over the mine, and they did. I said it's there. They were popped. Uh, somebody could have shot him. I, I told him that fucking mine was there. Actually, if I look behind. And just was, unless I, was I talking on squad comms by yeah, accident? Hope, no, you were in the first and then you switched. There's okay. a guy at 205 looking over here. I can't really get a shot him because of the branches. Uh, you want me to drive uh, <laughs> around this thing? All right, now we're if in tank want, simulation sure. mode. Hey, where's Paladin at? Uh, uh -huh. Paladin is crawling across the field. He's going to get there. This could be a problem for U.S. forces. It's still even, by the way. Three U.S. remain against three on the ground, uh, plus maybe sure, one up north. So Toasty is the only one left alive here. And I don't think Lima Bean knows he's around. So it's 4v3, and their MTLB is still operational. Plenty of, uh, plenty of stuff. Plenty, plenty of plenty of health. No AT remaining for U.S. forces. For some reason, they even lost their freaking toe. So uh, big, big rip. And I think Revy has beached the MTLB question. Probably not. And I guess Paladin thinks he's gonna try to do it himself. I wonder if he saw a stretch there through the uh, sandbag. No, he definitely sees Stretch the sandbag. I don't think he trusts himself to put a bullet through that hole. Oh, never mind. Stretch gets deleted by Lima being from up the hill. And someone's about to be kicked from the server. Oh, sevens in chat, guys. Don't talk when you're dead. What was that? Oh, Lima Bean almost shot Paladin. That was exactly what that was. Uh, by the way, they ran over mine. Was that Toasty? Toasty put up mine behind them? Wait, what? Oh my god! Toasty either c 4 them or put a mine behind them. I didn't realize he was a freaking engineer. Oh my god! That's it. Long darts and Knicks are still down there, and I think the D is still. Or is that Blaze? Blaze Assault. So three on the point is now 1v4. Oh, man. I wish I had noticed that earlier. Toasty's going to run down here to try to collect his prize, and he might get a shot at Paladin in the back. And he does take a few shots, but he's in full auto and uh misses every single one of them and paladin if he's smart will just turn around and uh throw a grenade which he does is a little off but it may still hurt nope
And someone doesn't know how to follow directions, so in before kick. Uh, Pal Paladin, uh, there he goes, gets shot. I believe that was Nyx. That's going to be GG. Four remain for US in round one. Oh my gosh. Round one complete of uh, Operation Cloudfire. What a round. Ups and downs and everything. Insane. Well, it's a good thing. 20 kills for Lima Bean. Wow, just cringed. It's a good thing. It's a good thing I wasn't, I didn't have that on. Anyway, we're going to be right back after this uh, short word from nobody because I need coffee. So just hold on a second, guys. We'll be right back. Operation Cloudfire. So, once again, Russia are attacking this U.S. position, which is now being constructed. I was spectator bug before. I was fog bug before. So, this is what peak operating uh, efficiency looks like for this operation. This is what everyone else sees. This is what everyone sees. I don't like this. Right, go, go ahead. <laughs> the reason why I don't play the foggy maps. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. A little bit more game. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. So, everything uh, seems to be in order. There we go. Okay. MTLB's rolling straight up one squat south. And, yeah. So, that we're going to be... There's going to be squads up north. They're going to move from H3 to I2, or India 2. The idea is they're going to perch up on high ground and just rain fire. But I wonder if people are going to be destroyed before that happens. Odds are yes. Odds are very yes, things are about to be destroyed. Got some uh, deviation here. One MTLB now going south, probably to link up with these guys because they probably took the wrong turn. Dismounts, squad five, dismounting on the golf hotel uh, line here, golf three. U.S. forces down, uh, if you used almost half their build supply, trying to get things started here. At the Wowies. end. Wowies. Wowies, This is ridiculous. good thing that the reminder went out because there is a squad on the uh, west side of the river. There are two squads. Should I stay with Charlie or stand with them? U.S. forces all the way going now, all the way to the bridge. They're going to reinsert down here in southeast. Uh, sorry, find, Russian forces going to go all the way down to the southeast. Uh, meanwhile, 
plus squad on foot plus mtlb gonna move around the north side here and they might have a little hard time once they get over to the west the east bridge right, two squads let's, and their mtlbs let's go let's slowly like, working this direction yeah, well we're supposed to cover so oh, we'll right here and so wait we get more workers are they allowed are vehicles allowed to use hold on a second i am thinking about 20 minutes right all right, let's cut the tree line. Vehicles. Russian vehicle, Russian restrictions. Vehicles, wheeled vehicles must utilize bridges to cross water. So I guess technically the MTLB can cross water. Yeah, no tractor Just infantry back restrictions. Right so yeah, the MTLBs can cross water. The transport truck had to use the bridge. Blackbeard knows what's up. Uh, Alpha, just try, Alpha, try Blackbeard knows what's up. I mean, look at the visibility. Um, How do you... There's no way you should be able to see. Did I hear something? You should be able to see something by now. Come to me, Toasty. We're gonna start against them. Yeah, copy that. Throw RP start with RPGs. Start with the RPGs. So wait, they're gonna like blind fire Quick. frag rockets? Oh, 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 I don't oh, see anything. Oh, I, don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. Yeah, I think some people can see. I think okay. some people had the spectator had the vision bug I had last time. I think some people can see. Either that or my my fog level is ridiculous. depression move up like an inch. Anyway, there is a death. We have a fire team lead dead in the south. I had to figure out where that was. That was close. So, somewhere along the rocks here, it looks like he got shot from his southeast. So, from his rocks, he got shot. We can fix them in buildings with bullets. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty good shot. Pretty sure. Oh, look, we got the full. We got the full being used here. We two. We got HMGs covering toes. Shots being fired. Looks like it's blind. Minimal casualties so far. One Russia death. One Russia kill for two U.S. kills. I can't even see the tracers. <laughs> see anything I think this is what the the fog turning turn mode no the problem is the map <laughs> uh, if only had yeah the problem the problem is definitely the map my uh my I didn't realize this was as bad as it was supposed to be this is as, this is pretty bad I do but I'm gonna have to shoot it blindly People are gonna have to cross the river. Yeah. Can you only see with your binos? Hold on. No, no. Can you only see with your binos on, or do you need some graphics? Because mine are on max I... out. I can see it right now. Oh, you know what? I don't have distance shadows on. I don't have anything else. Oh, yeah, uh, let's. All right, let's see, Toasty. Yeah, let's get this uh, friendly fire here. Is he gonna clear his back blast before he shoots? The tree. I can see this tree right in front of me. <laughs> this tree right in front of me? There is a tree. What do you grab? Do you barely see that tree? It is right there. Uh, not that high. 
I don't think anyone actually can see 150 meters. There's a lot of guessing going on. I mean, I say that, but US are on five kills right now. Look at Chad Bear. Chad Bear is just bipoded up and he's just basically spraying. You know, just. Hey, you know what Russia needed? A rocket techie. Russia needed a point blank rocket techie on these guys. Is it a little bit better over here? No, it's even worse once you get to low ground. Oh my god. The MTLB just sitting here with his engine idling, not getting shot at. Although there is a lat somewhere around here looking for a chance to shoot. Who is this? Happy Clamper. Meanwhile, Southeast looks like uh, Russia Assault is now in force. Two spots down there. Ooh, what a shot by Nobskull. Kills the lat. Dude, how do you even see that guy? Another kill. So two squads be a squad. Yeah, this could be uh, this could be something interesting here. Blackbeard also part of this assault down here, southwest or southeast. Take a look at the uh, U.S. position here on the southeast side. Talking to me. Oh no. Wait, what happened to. Oh, Londar, it's got his guys mounted. Looks like he took some casualties. He might be what. Ah, see, the numbers are. Russia at nine now? It's so hard to figure out what's going on here. Alpha has basically got his guys. Is he in charge of this helmet? I don't think he is. Oh no. Bartok gets back on the MTLB. Oh, he's in the transport truck. I'm looking at the wrong place. Oh my gosh. I'm so disoriented right now. Russia making progress, starting to engage US on all sides. Looks like they're getting back in the MTLB slowly, question mark. There's no lad over here anymore. Just in a circle. TLB making forward progress over here on the southwest side. Looks like they got hit. Ooh, chicken got spotted, I guess. Come skull looking for him. He's turned towards. Killed by Alpha, and I think D just walked over Chicken. Oh, look at that! Alpha to call that out. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Southeast attack starting to take real shape here. Lots of progress being made by our Russian forces. Seeing the map, they're starting to make their way into town. Jam find himself near the base of a tree, everyone walking past him. 
He's got an AR, so why hasn't he got? He must have gotten the kill by now, right? I mean, no, he's got zero kills. Zero kills, and he's shooting laser beams. Jam here's uh, this Jam here's beware and Reno over here. Maybe he's gonna throw a grenade because that's what I would do. But he's gonna crawl over here and maybe see if he can get a kill. He don't have vehicles. Lack goes in. Fader gets smacked. Fader's gonna burn bail, up. Bail bail. bail, bail, bail is called. Good call from Fader. The second tone misses. Unlucky. Doesn't get two kills, and Fader and JCP get out with their lives. Great, uh, great, great job there. Dentrick gets a sad time. Sad time message in chat, lol. Uh, meanwhile, Alpha's still alive. Chicken is still alive on this peninsula down here, too. Uh, Londarts has got, looks like he's only got three people. Four people, five people. Oh, someone just got ripped up. Steve-O. Shot from range. Super Spitfire also takes a little bit of a frag here. Ghost Force is eating it, but they have clawed their way back to par, or even, rather. U.S. Uh, holding on pretty... I mean, they haven't really tested their main defense yet. This is just a... I don't even think they were meant to really hold this. They were probably meant to fall back at this point, but there's really nowhere for them to go. It's too much open ground between this uh, southeast point and the main defense area, Bullseye. The Bullseye defense area. So. Stiglitz gets shot up as uh, Steve is holding this short wall. 16 to 17, U.S. now slightly ahead. Blackbeard wants to consolidate for a southeast to northwest push here. Ooh, Paladin got left alive. Does JCP here? Is he gonna go in? JCP here is a mo past him. Can uh, can MTBs cross the river? Yeah. Yes, they can. Paladin's holding up here by himself. Hey, okay, where'd he go? No, he's still got it. There's still a decent chunk of squad one here. Right, we'll do they are falling back. This is I pro this is probably the defense they wanted to make, which is this hill right here. It's a great position as long as they don't get shot in the back. They're golden. Four uh, squad leads down. We are pretty much hardened up in these houses. Let's I find still hear many... infantry. <clears throat> I still hear, hear in the Ooh. North, this north building. Legar is kind of across their river here. If they want to push you, they can push you. If they fuck off, let me know. Okay? He's in play, but he's across the river, isolated. I guess he's just holding... Look, uh, he must have heard the vehicle. There's Lawn Darts and Nixon, the in the river so he must be waiting for a shot because he's got his at primed and ready to go uh let's see if gimli walks over him first hope it's gonna come over and give him extra eyes on gimli trons up the hill along with tie-dye dude yeah okay blackbeard blackbeard roll cut Deal? 
like we're role role playing hard now. A tragic attempt at an accident. Yeah, shh, Scottish. This is the private big boys club. Russia now totally reorganized. US is even pulling back a fire team. Hovitz looking for a chance to have his lap fire on Line Arts' MTLB. Little as you know, that would only be one of the MTLBs. Careful with MTLB. Chance to shoot at. I can hear it from here. Which means they definitely can hear it. Oh, wait. Gimletron. Wonder if Hovis saw Gimletron. No, he didn't. There would be no reason why Hovis would be pushing out like this by himself. Gimletron's right in front of him through the fog. Close to within about 20 meters. 30 meters now. Picking up some space. Yeah, it's a little bit further away than I thought he was. I think a really sharp eye might be able to see him though. With your with your 3090 turned up to ultra and on your freaking 200 hertz monitor. Hov is slowly working up the coast, and I think Lagar is starting to follow. And there we go. He got zipped by the MTLB. I mean, we have no. We should take the bank because it's it's completely wide open. Nope. Where do you reckon they're going to be? India 4 2. Uh, Last contact was India 4 2. Up around like India 4 4 6, probably some in India 4 5 1, India 4 2 8. Just kind of lining the east side. At, uh, What's the. Okay, hold on, hold on. What? No idea. No, because there's a hill between the toe and these guys, right? MGLB slowly peeking in. Lagar has a chance to get a nice clean shot off. If Lagar can close the distance here and not get spotted by the, uh, <laughs> the MGLB gunner. It's kind of what we're waiting for right now. US have pulled back from their southeast hold and they've given up the main field right here. These two approaches. The remaining Russian force. Uh, Lagar actually getting really close and gets shot. Emily walks over him. Dude, I couldn't even see that guy. Uh, I was straight on top. Jeez. Unlucky for Lagar. Would have had a great chance to end it. Uh, with the crazy, with the crazy kill there, or a crazy amount of potential, Steve O thinks twice about running across. Twenty kills, the twenty kills. It's the closest the round has been yet at this point in the round. Side of the rear Not sure how many. Or rather, the closest this game has been, round two. It's quite quiet. How many have you dropped on that peninsula? Three confirmed. Three confirmed. Okay, couple. Well, we're gonna try and change the arc, push some people. We're gonna push it down with Raggy Let's see. Um, Lord says he's dropped three. Raggy, when you start taking contact, that's when we're gonna nope. move uh, Guido and four. Let's see, he's talking about his other guys. Bartok's got four kills. It's pretty good. It's a pretty, pretty good. Even though he's dead. So, I guess not, not, not pretty good. Oh! Twisties. Twisty gets uh, uh, shredded. That must have been, uh, that must have been Nyx. Nyx must be able to see a bit further with that magnified, with the magnified, op or with the optics on the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, you can't see the MTLB from here, right, guys? Because I can't. Can you see that? I cannot. I would be dead. To be basically strafing any building that it sees. Toes are looking for it. Yeah, Raggy, you can stick that 
Matter of fact, the closest to behind um, that position. See your toes scanning for any movement. There's two MTLBs doing the dirty right now. One across the river to their east, one directly south. Kimchi might actually have a shot at this. If I can actually get on Kimchi. Uh, Dentric, Reckless Athenian. There we go. Ooh, maybe not. Kimchi's in a really bad position. The MTLB's coming up around the bunker. Oh, man. Well, it's going to be a nice clean shot once it gets around the emplacement. Speaking of... Uh, that's really close. Russians are sneaking through this area. They just went straight around. Missile launch, not a hit. And there goes the tow launcher guy, along with the uh, emplacement. Maybe that wasn't uh, Kimchi, but uh, that guy is freaking gone. Kimchi, I don't think he got a kill either. Big sad. Russians gonna need to uh, pull back. Ooh, look at the base of fire element over here. I heard another Togo out. Toe's been called out. And uh, looks like the MTLB's gonna cook off. Not a square on hit for the toe launcher. Kind of surprising the toe didn't get a kill. Doesn't one hit the MTLB. Don't die. Oh, they're gonna try to repair it? No. Be careful, but Nick gets zipped through a bush. Oh, how unlucky. JCP getting shot in the back by Paladin. Wow. Look at that. Uh, that goes out and looks like a miss. I didn't see anything die. Is Kimchi back on the toe? Uh, ooh, Digit gets deleted. MTLB looking for things. JV One runs down, up down. on Kimchi, and Dick's bulk is had turned around. Thanks. Oh, yep. died. I'm on. JV looking for more. May have seen Dick's bulk move, but I don't know. Body's gone now, so it's just gonna be. Another good squad, Raggy. Two people died here, right there. HMG getting kills? Yep. JB hops on the HMG. And a trade as he jumps off. Dick's ball trading for JB. You hear bandages? Raggy gets hit. I got it, I got it, I got it. Who's the one? That weird animation. 33 for Russia, 28 for US. Uh, if Russia keep this up, the what the what? What? Why? Yes, throw the grenade, lemon sledge. There he goes out. I don't think it's going towards anyone. Might have bounced. Nope, not far enough. Needed to go a little bit further. Might have hit a tree, actually. Russia looks like it has the numbers to make this happen. 34 kills, the 28 for U.S. All right, we're going to follow Blackbeard on in here. He's got the most infantry folks around him. Oi, oi, you know these smokes are being fucked the red smoke? Has this got people? This is news. Did you throw smoke? I think we lost an MTLB. 
Something bopped. No, oh, that's enemy. Enemy. Does enemy anyone have an ammo bag? That's it. That's red smoke. It's dude, dude, dude. It's uh, 151. 155. Uh, 115, sorry. Purple smoke. Whoa! Scott. Okay, well, Lego's dead. Um, <laughs> Three, four, five. over there. Stop, can you throw a couple of rockets in there and get rid of that? That sledge got kind of a frickin... Where? Get that MTL beach. The... Oh, he's dead. Oh. Um, Shooting. it's just like one, talk wants a one, shot on, yeah, uh, yeah, Lemon Sledge. Oh, uh, shot missed. Yeah, keep throwing that shit in. I have one more anti tank. Alright, cool. Just keep blowing that, blowing, blowing that shit. That'd be good. There you go. I guess he tried to shoot at, uh, this. Oh, on any. to Why are we being stuck now? Get around this truck. Why are we being still alive? He's got a shovel out though. I think. I think it's a shovel. Anyway, MTLB is just going to bypass. MTLB now driving through the US position. Uh, Go any, back. uh, any, any lats, guys? Nope, there's one engineer and it's Lima Bean. So if Lima's gonna get revenge... Lima Sledge gets zipped through the, the sandbag there. There's a little sandbag bunker, no box. Lima Bean's gotta make a move. He's the only one capable of taking out this, uh, MTLB. Otherwise, it'll be a matter of time, unless, uh, U.S. can outshoot Russia as they move in. Numbers don't really support that possibility, though. Four U.S. remain. I'm gonna call it four U.S. remaining here. Five, four. As Degesso just gets zipped, uh, gets destroyed by a frag. Reckless and uh, Dentrick are just circling the drain here. Looking for anything. I don't know. I think so. Where's the radio? The radio's right in the middle. So, this is what they've done. They've positioned all of their sandbags and stuff so that they can support anyone trying to go for the radio. Rocket goes in, Revy goes out. AT gets a kill. I think we're down to two remaining here as Lima Bean gets zipped. Uh, it's destroyed as, I guess, his sandbag was uh, destroyed and he got exposed. Down to, I believe, it's Rosa and Cowboy, unless Rosa's a spectator camera, but I think Rosa is, uh, yep, Rosa's still here. So that's it. All the Russians converging. I don't think there's anyone else alive. Looks like, uh, squad size plus versus two. That's gonna do it for us after uh we'll be, we'll be wrapping up very shortly here. Take a look at the calendar, read off of what's gonna happen, because we got stuff happening even today. Wait, Liberal's still alive? Wait, is that happening? Liberal's still here, so there's three US remaining and liberals. Can you come back to where the command is and then basically roll slowly in front of it? Blackbeard is very, uh... Oh, and... Uh, Liberal Pundit even gets called out. So, if... Depends on how sharp Loop's eyes are still. Rocket's coming in. Cowboy and Rose is still up on the point. Uh, scan these outside. Oh, I see right, some. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, hold on. Wow. Yeah, Lip gets destroyed from outside yeah. of the point. I just got Did we clear the truck. Is this a truck behind us? I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, MTLB, MTLB, just light up the two trucks that are on that hill, or wherever they are. Like east of right. Alright, so is Rosa still alive? Rosa's still alive. Okay, don't drive off. Hold him. And. Do 
doing a little crawling around here trying to make sure they don't get blown up. I mean, man. Cowboy's one, dead, one, though. Possibly one Down to Rosa. Okay, 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 okay. Uh oh. Uh, premature GD! Kill. Rosa gets two kills. We're gonna see how long this goes on because it's not gonna happen for a marriage longer. Uh, maybe that was it. Maybe Scottish got it. Nope, nope. Rosa's still up. Oh, and then I've got rolled. Okay. <laughs> Big yikes. I thought I got Uh, so that happens from time to time. That happens from time to time, guys. Don't worry about it. It's it happens. All right, but that's gonna do it for us today. Let's go over the calendar real quick, like.